CBS. Sierra! A crate could have stashed Lucy almost any place in this country by now. Mother, would any you stop place. being so dramatic? You know, she hasn't seen her father in months. It's just one little night. If they're a little bit late, they're probably just enjoying each other's company. Oh, great. At this rate, I'm never going to see the girl at all. Mother, never, you mean never. Me, grandmother? Lucy! Oh, well, hi. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sweetie, late. Sweetie, it's not your fault you're late. Oh, you look wonderful. I could eat you up. You're so beautiful, I hardly recognized you. Oh, and there's your dad. Were you needed for anything here other than transportation? Mother, mm -hmm. please. Lucy doesn't need to hear the oh. truth. You squabble. Oh. Good evening, Miss Emma. It's my fault we were late. I wanted to spend as much time with Dad as I could. You know, about eons before I see him again, when school break runs oh, around. Oh, my gosh. Do I have enough drama in my life? Wonder from whom she inherited that. Teasing us, Grant. <laughs> you, you think so? <laughs> you know what? You're right, Mom. I haven't been acting my age, and whining's not going to get me what I want. It's time for a new approach. Well, that is a welcome relief. Do you have a strategy? Sure. First, I'm going to take charge of my life and make some long-term decisions. Well, that sounds great. Like what? After the holidays? I'm moving in with Dad. Right, but there's got to be some kind of surveillance camera outside of Al's diner. Uh, what about the bank across the street? Okay, no, no, no. How about, how about uh, Commerce Street, the, the 200 building? There's got to be something there. Hang it up. Right. Shh. Emily, mm -hmm. hang up the phone. Al, this is, this is intruder uh, business, my work. Um, I'm sorry, I, I need to call you back. <laughs> I, I have a newspaper to get out. You have no right interfering. And you have no right putting Tom Hughes under surveillance. Did I even mention Tom Hughes? Um, do you know how long I've made my living seeing through people's little fabrications? You just gave Tom Hughes office address to whoever it was on the phone. You're telling me that was a coincidence? <sighs> no. No, I am telling you, I have to find something to stop Tom from getting full custody of my son. So what are you going to do, watch hours and hours of surveillance tapes to track his every move? You think he's not watching me? How do you think he managed to snatch Daniel out of Al's diner, huh? Are you still trying to talk yourself into that cockamamie scenario? I don't care what you think of Tom, Emily, but he is not the kind of guy to stage stealing his own son to make you look bad. I want to bet. Emily, you don't have a shred of it. Well, that's why I need to get some. Tom did this, Hal. Whether you want to believe it or not, he did this. He set me up to look like I was some sort of irresponsible parent. I'm going to get my son back. And while I'm at it, I'm going to get Tom Hughes out of his life permanently. A Adam, did, did Daniel ask for a bottle before he went down? A bottle for the dance there? No way. He did his big boy thing the whole way. Did you give him his blanket because he does not sleep well without his blanket? Dad, he's already asleep, and I have the baby monitor right next to me. Turn the TV down so you can hear the baby monitor. He's been waking up with nightmares. Adam has been taking care of Daniel since he was born. Your mom just told me I'm, I'm being too intense, so I'm going to leave this in your capable hands, okay? I love you, buddy. Mm. So you think I'm overprotective? Mm. What is that? It just turns me on when you go into that big old papa bear thing. It's very sexy. No, it doesn't. You're trying to distract me. Is it working? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey there. Hope we're not too late. <laughs> no, no, no. You're just on time. Hi, Katie. Hi. Simon, Katie, so how is married life? I mean, real married life. What? It's how great. Are you doing? <laughs> one big adventure after the next, you know? And this is one big milestone, I have to say. With all the friends you guys have, you invite me and Simon for our first couple nights out. Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to go check on the table. Oh, why don't you go with Tom and take your time? Oh, wow, that was subtle. I mean, if you want to spend some alone time with Margot, just have to ask, that's all. I want to spend some no. alone time with... No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take your time. <laughs> wow, he is crazy for you, huh? So what's up? Okay, I need your advice on the wedding announcement that I put in the paper. Simon didn't like it, and I don't want to stuff it in his face. <laughs> Katie, why on earth did you announce to the world that Simon had been married four other times? 
Isn't it obvious? Huh? To tell all the other Mrs. Frasers to back off. Simon's mine. You gotta promise me you will not tell Paul that I was at the Lakeview. Rose, who do you think you're talking to? I would never tell Paul anything you asked me not to. Hello, you just told me you told Paul on the QT how much I loved him. Well, now that's different. Paul already knows how much you love him. It's not a secret, like the Lakeview thing. I bet that's Paul coming to make up with you. Oh, well, it's been coming here to screw things up for me. Oh, it goes nothing. Oh, baby, am I glad to see you. something to Rose, huh? I, I suppose, yeah. I... Oh, you don't even worry about keeping our little chat a secret. Rose knows. Oh, this is so romantic. Oh, no, I gotta get back to Miss Walsh's. If, uh, if I'm not back on the dot, she locks off the place and I'll wind up camping out with the gatekeeper. <laughs> Bye, you two. Bye. Hey. You okay? How are you? Good. I guess I thought it was okay until I saw your face. I mean, I guess we're still in a fight. Hey, what are you doing all the way over there? Come over here and kiss me. Rose, I think you and I have some things we need to discuss. Neutrogena hand cream, developed in Norway for Arctic fishermen to protect their hands. Five years of clinical tests prove it works better at rapidly healing dry skin and at retaining moisture longer. That's why it's trusted by dermatologists. Neutrogena hand cream, it works better. Dear Aleve, my back pain got so bad it was tough to get out of bed. Every pain reliever I tried quit too soon. And I even asked my doctor about surgery. Thankfully, my daughter told me about Aleve. And now pain can't get in the way of the things I love to do. Aleve can stop pain all day with just two pills. That would take eight Tylenol. I wanted everyone to see just how grateful I am. Thanks, Aleve. And now, sinus sufferers can get all-day relief with new Aleve sinus and headache. Mm -hmm. Mom, Kate's coming to dinner. Make something good. Bill, I'm stuck at work. You have to make dinner. Good luck. You always knew Campbell's was good. This makes it better. Two-step recipes. Just brown chicken, add Campbell's cream with mushroom soup, and simmer. So you're only two steps away from a home-cooked meal. I thought you were going to be late. Did I, did I say that? Campbell's two-step chicken. We're doing the dishes. Mm -hmm. Grab it. This is Pledge Grab It. Citrus. I already know exactly where you use it. You're picking up all the cobwebs. This scent is delicious. You grab that little crumb and it hasn't dropped it. It's all dog hair and dust. Fresh citrus smell. Grab it! Don't mind me because I'm just going to keep cleaning. Need last-minute gifts? Unwrap the magic at JCPenney, the only place for huge savings on the gifts your family can't wait to open. It's all inside. JCPenney. Kate and Leopold is the holiday romance audiences have been waiting for. Two thumbs up. Meg Ryan and Hugh Jackman are a sexy delight. Like that. Their chemistry lights up the screen. Kate and Leopold. Rated PG-13. Opens Christmas Day. It's tough not having a car. With immediate claim service, GEICO gets you back on the road fast. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Accidents can happen anytime. That's why GEICO's here, 24 hours a day, every day. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.
Homeland Security Chief Tom Ridge advised all Americans to be on a heightened state of festiveness. Don't miss Marissa Tomei and Lenny Kravitz tonight. See the latest person voted out of Survivor Africa tomorrow on The Early Show. And Paul, that's one of the things I love about us, you know, the way we talk things out. It would be such a shame, you know, we're in sync right now to get so crazy over some silly picture. That's no reason for us to break up. I wouldn't walk out over a picture. Good. Yeah. Oh, good. Because that picture you found of me and Vince, I was going to tell you about it. Just not the second you walked through the door. I've been completely upfront about everything. I'm honest. And that's what I love about you, Rose. Your honesty. Came by to see you earlier. Oh, I wasn't here. I know. Where were you? I was at Lily's. Lily. I was talking about you and me, actually. Lily, I, you know, the Ann Landers of sisters. Yeah, I bet she is. Where'd you go after that? The gas station? The drugstore? The Lakeview. So, Simon's ex-wives are coming back to haunt you? No, not really. You just want me to check what we do his past a little bit? No, 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 no. It's not that bad. It's just... It's just enough to worry you. I just don't understand why he got so upset about it. He threw it in the trash. You don't think it embarrasses him to have his other wives listed for the whole world to see? Well, it shouldn't. Our marriage is the only one that should count. It's weird. It's like he wanted to keep it secret or something. You don't think that Simon is still married to one of those other women, do you? No, no. The INS would have found out a long time ago. And plus, I totally trust him now. Every time he looks at me, I know he's just thinking of me. <laughs> you two have come such a long way. Amazing. So what? You think that Simon thinks that this announcement is sending up a red flag? Exactly. Like one of his ex-wives is going to come crawling out of the woodwork or something. Well, that'd get sticky. You know what they say about a woman's scorn. Oh, and she better watch out because I'll totally take her on if she comes sniffing around. Oh, you are so tough. But, Katie, what if one of those exes is dangerous? You are always thinking like a cop, you know that? Yeah, I am. And while we're on the subject, don't get me wrong. I like Simon. I do, finally. But what do you really know? I know he loves me. Katie, my little sister, take it from someone who has been married for a very long time, both happily and unhappily. When the going gets rough, sometimes love just isn't enough. I can't do this anymore, all right? I, I can't fight with you anymore. I'm not fighting with you, Emily. I'm just trying to make you see reason. I don't want to be reasonable. I just want my son back. You think I don't understand how you feel, Emily, but I do. You want to know what I think is really going on here? I know. What, you think I'm a raving lunatic? No, I think you miss your kid. I think you miss him, and it would be a good thing if maybe you saw him. Yeah, well, it's not on Tom's new schedule. I told you that he refuses to let me see him any time by myself. I told you that. What, you can't go over to Tom and Margot's and, what, kiss him goodnight, read him a bedtime story? Go to Tom and Margot's. And then I'd have to leave him there? I'd leave my son in. I can't do that. It just hurts too much. Um, you can't stay away just to keep yourself from getting hurt. Otherwise, you just end up making things worse. <laughs> and for Daniel, too. He needs people to be consistent in his life right now, Emily. Even though he's staying at Tom and Margot's mostly right now, he needs to know that you haven't deserted him. No, I haven't. You... You need to hold your kid. <laughs> it's time for me to get to know my father. And if I never live with him, that's never going to happen. Craig, did you put her up to this? Now, what have you promised this child in return for this, this mutiny? Mother, come on. Daddy had nothing to do with my decision. I made it on my own. You don't have to defend me, sweetie. Would the three of you please stop? Craig and I are going to go out to dinner. Why? Because obviously we need to discuss this alone. But Daddy and I have plans to make, and... No, this is for your father and myself to decide, not you, and not you. So there is something to decide. You'll think about me moving in with Daddy. No. Your father and I are going to discuss you going back to school after the holidays and how he can best support that. But... No buts, Lucy, okay? That's it. That's the last word, final. Now say goodbye to your father. Goodbye? You mean I can't see him again while we're here? Not if this is the discussion that we are going to have to have after every visit. 
Finally, finally the voice of reason. Mother, would you let me handle this, please? I'm not going to put my two cents in because you're doing it splendidly. This is so not fair. Daddy, talk to her. Make her listen. Lucy, this is your choice. You either abide by my decision or you forfeit whatever little time you have with your father left. Now, what's it going to be? my kids grow up and not always being able to participate. Advair is an asthma product that's clinically proven to improve lung function and increase symptom-free days to help you do more of the things you want to do. That's because Advair is the first and only product to effectively treat the two main components of asthma, airway constriction and inflammation. Just one inhalation, morning and night. Advair won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms and should not be taken more than twice a day. People switching from an oral steroid like prednisone to Advair, which contains an inhaled steroid, need to be especially careful. While adjusting to the switch, your body may not be as able to heal after surgery, infection, or serious injury. If you have heart or blood pressure problems, tell your doctor. Some people may experience a change in heart rhythm. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve. Ask your doctor if Advair is right for you. Advair, because life should take your breath away, not asthma. brought me luck. White Diamonds, the intriguing fragrance from Elizabeth Taylor. This elegant watch, yours with any 4850 White Diamonds fragrance purchase. Door. How do you fit 12 people around the table? How do you make the perfect holiday meal? How do you pass on a family tradition? How do you decide who gets the wishbone? How do you spot a thanks, Mom? McCormick, the taste you trust. To deck the halls with strength that won't wreck the walls, you need the remarkable Command Adhesive Hooks from 3M. Simply stretch the tab and Command Adhesive comes off clean. Because what goes up must come down. Take Command. Holds on strong, releases on command. One more example of 3M innovation. Tresemme, ooh la la. Tresemme Hydrology's unique moisture lock formula does more than infuse hair with moisture. It actually locks it in, so your hair is shinier and healthier. Tresemme Hydrology shampoos and conditioners. Go, 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 get outside! No, wait, shh. Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. Oh, here, let me get it. Emily. Hi. Happy holidays. Come on in. Not too much Christmas cheer going on here, huh? You guys losing, huh? Yeah, my 27 points. Hi, Emily. Hi, Adam. I uh, wanted to say goodnight to Daniel, okay? Oh, well, he's already asleep. Not a peep for about an hour, so. Oh, that's okay. I won't wake him up. I just want to peek in on him. Uh, the only thing is my mom and, and my dad aren't home right now, so. I, I don't mean to give you any grief, but I, I, I need to see my son, okay? Just for one minute, please. Come on, Adam. She is Daniel's mother. I, I think it'll be okay. Tom left me specific instructions. I'm sorry. What, not to let her see her own kid? She, she's not supposed to see Daniel unless Tom is here. I'm sorry. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm going to lose it in a minute here. So, I'm sorry. I don't mean to put you on the spot, guys, but I just need to see my son. I just need to watch him sleep for a few minutes. That's what we mothers do. So, can you just bend the rules a little, please? What could it hurt? Okay. Okay, just for a few minutes. Come on. Thanks. Um, is that thing on? Oh, yeah, of course. So if I sing Daniel a lullaby or something, you guys are going to be listening? Oh, no, no, no. It's not like we're going to be eavesdropping on you, no. Can you... Can you give me a little private time, please? You want me to turn this off? Yeah. It's not a problem, is it? But come on. Enjoy your privacy. Okay, they are booked solid. But our table will be ready in 15 minutes. Oh, great. That'll give me time to powder my nose. Oh, yeah, look at the shine on my face. What? 
Mm. Hey, look, I'm sure I washed it. <laughs> so what is the big confab? I don't know, but I suspect it's about me. Now, you guys aren't having troubles, are you? No, right? not at all. I've been... Look, we just don't agree on me continuing to work for Craig. Well, I thought he'd been very generous. It's got to beat living next to that garage, no, right? it's been fine. It's just... Look, Craig's pretty slippery, he's sly, and... I think this is the point where I tell you that I've agreed to become Craig's attorney again. Oh, sorry. No, no, I knew what I was getting into. Besides, I thought... I thought Lucinda was gonna hire you. Yeah, how'd you hear that? I heard it from the Queen Bee herself. What happened? Did that fall through? I don't know. I haven't heard a word from her since she mentioned it. Are you gonna be seeing her anytime soon? I'm sure I will. I can tell her you're still interested if you like. I think that'd, that'd be great. I'd... But the sooner Katie and I get off Craig's ticket into our place, the better. Really? What's the rush? Don't you guys want to save some money first? Yes, you are. And incredibly unshiny. Oh, how you noble of you to notice. I always <laughs> yeah, really. I want you to repeat the choice that I just gave you, please. So cut the time I have with Daddy short if I keep talking about staying in Oakdale. Thank you. I just want to make sure that we were on the same page. Sorry for giving you grades, Mother. Sierra, do you think... Lucy and I could have a couple of minutes alone together before dinner. As long as there's no plotting. Uh, don't mind me. I've just got a few things no, 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 at my no. desk. That's, That's all. No, no. Oh. Okay. I blew it, didn't I? So no. Sorry. No, no. You mounted a valiant effort. Now fly down to Montego and we can snorkel and... Scuba, look for all the other sharks named Lucinda. She's always like that with you. Mm. But, Mom, why does Mom hate you now? Your mother hates me, I don't think so. We're about to go out to dinner. Come on, Daddy, something's changed. Ever since Bryant died, she's been so angry. And the awful looks she gives you sometimes. What did you do? Why would a change in your mother's attitude have to be my fault? Isn't it always? It has something to do with Bryant, doesn't it? Talk to me, Daddy. I'm not sure I want you hearing about my lapses in judgment. It doesn't matter what you did. I'll still love you. Don't you know nothing's going to change that? I went to see Bryant. Uh, the night he died, I was preoccupied with a project. I asked him for a loan uh, from his trust fund. He turned you down? No. You guys argued? No, in fact, he promised me the money right there. Then I don't get it. Your mom is angry at me because she feels I should have been more to him, a father to him then. I should have noticed he was upset and done something. She's so, so self-righteous. It's that crazy freedom fighter thing. She's truth and justice, and the rest of the world, it's full of bad guys. Mm, your mother has been very forgiving. Maybe so, Daddy, but still. But... She's right. I did let Brian down. And maybe she's right about this, you know? Maybe the safest place for you is away from me. So you knew I was at the Lake View and you're asking me all these questions? You spying on me? Why would I have to? I mean, you're always so honest. So, Rose, how's Vince? Has he changed much since the last time you saw him? Still got those anchor tattoos all over his Vince body. At all. Oh, come on, Rose. We both know you were with him this afternoon. No, no. You were no, in his room. True. You went to his room. Uh, yeah, I went to his room to tell him to leave me alone. Uh, but he wasn't there. I never saw him at all. Okay, then why lie to me about where you were? I, I didn't lie. I swear, I what, didn't whoa, lie. Whoa, is this some kind of Jersey technicality? No. All right, you want the whole story? The truth. What do you know? All right, I, I, he called 
me at Lily's. We got disconnected somehow. And Star 69. Yeah, I know. I tried to call him back, but he wasn't answering any of his phone calls. So I, I just said I decided to go over to Lakeview, see him face to face, and tell him that to just stop bothering me, to leave me alone. But he wasn't there, Paul. I swear. At this point, why keep you stringing me along, why, Rose? Why are you so crazy about some guy I haven't seen in like over a year? Oh, that's how long it's been. This yeah. Time? And here you are acting like I've been throwing back shooters with him all night long. Oh, that's why I didn't tell you about the picture of him and me, and I just want to get rid of the whole subject of Vince O'Malley altogether. I don't want to bore you with the stupid details. I know how upset you would be. Aren't you just the definition of compassion? Appreciating how upset I might get that the woman I love is sleeping with her ex-boyfriend right under my nose. Are you sleeping with Vince? Well, what am I supposed to think, Rose? I mean, you tell me one story, I shoot holes all through that one, and boom, you drop a second one, and it's just to equal No, it's that ridiculous. is the truth. That is the truth and nothing but. I swear to you, I went over to see Vince. He wasn't there. End of story. Really? Yeah. Explain why this was in his hotel room. tradition. It has been for years. With French's Taste Toppers, your green bean casserole has the crunchy onion taste everyone loves. So celebrate the holidays with family, friends, and French's Taste Toppers. We were finally going to buy my grandson a big boy bet. I was on chemo then, and I was exhausted. If you're a chemotherapy patient and feel tired, you may be anemic. Ask your doctor about Procrit to regain red blood cells. More red blood cells can mean more strength. Procrit is proven and safe. In studies, only diarrhea and edema occurred more often with Procrit than placebo. Procrit is for patients with non-myeloid cancers. He takes a lot of energy, but I never get tired of him. Got a tough clog? You want it gone fast. And you think professional strength liquid plumber and Drano Max are both the same, right? Wrong. One works faster. Professional strength liquid plumber. On the toughest clogs, it's faster than Drano Max. Professional strength liquid plumber. Because faster is better. Do you want your parties to be really special? Try Rocher. The European speciality your guests will adore. Smooth chocolate, crunchy hazelnut, a luxurious taste sensation. It's more of a party with Rocher. Would you let a guy get this close to your legs if you shaved with an electric razor? You bet. If you use the Remington Smooth and Silky, you get all the closeness you want without the cuts. Remington, it shaves real close, so he can get close, real close. Didn't you say you were getting a cold? Yes, but I used Zycam right away and got rid of it right away. Didn't you say you were getting a cold? I knocked it out with Zycam before the cold could knock me down. Zycam is unique. Its patented formula has been shown to get rid of colds three times faster when taken at the first sign of symptoms. Colds? They're tough to avoid, but now I get rid of them three times faster. Getting a cold? Get Zycam and get rid of the cold three times faster. CBS Tonight. The lions are getting hungry. Oh. Good old Tom is getting frisky. <laughs> and what's in these ostrich eggs? That's going to save one of the survivors. Oh my God. Who will be voted out next? The interesting travel council. All new Survivor CBS Tonight. Think you've got a full house this holiday season? Meet the Jackson 20. Can you name all of your kids? All in the family. 48 hours, Friday. Thanks to the Salvation Army, they brought me closer back to my family and gave me employment. You can make a difference. When you donate your operable used vehicle to the Salvation Army, all proceeds go to their adult rehabilitation centers. You'll get a tax deduction and help someone in need. My overall feeling for the Salvation Army that it helped save my life. 
help someone get off the street and on the road to recovery. Call the Salvation Army's Vehicle Donation Program today at 1-877-SA-3-AUTO. This weekend, McCormick Place. Clothing from $10. Levi's, Guess, Calvin Klein, Polo, Victoria's Secret, Hilfiger, more from $10. Shoes from $10. Nine West, Nike, Reebok, Fila, Adidas, more from $10. Leather boots from $19. Leather jackets, $39. Leather gloves, $5. Leather wallets, $5. Leather belts, $5. Pool on a curve, White Diamond, Eternity Escape, Tommy, CK1, more perfume and cologne, $19. Beautiful jewelry, rings and chains. Watches, Seiko, Citizen, Fossil, more. McCormick Place. Friday noon to 10. Saturday 10 to 9. Sunday 11 to 6. Don't just sit there and wait for the next Bears game. Go live on location for your exclusive look ahead at the next big game. Don't miss Chicago Bears Weekly, presented by Toyota. Saturday at 6.30 on CBS2, your Chicago Bears station. Credit card fraud. How problem solvers helped a woman recoup hundreds of dollars at 4.30. Julie Andrews and James Garner star in one special night, CBS Sunday. Yeah, I can't begin to tell you what seeing that little face does for me. Thank you, Adam. No problem. Would you like me to walk you out to your car? Oh, no, no, no. Don't be silly. I'm fine. You guys have a, uh, have a Merry Christmas. You too. Thanks, you too. So I think she's not your favorite person. Take her or leave her. <clears throat> so what did she ever do to you? Well, she practically ripped my family apart. She got pregnant with Daniel on purpose to, to break out my mom and dad. And she didn't get pregnant alone, Adam. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I, I, I like Emily. I mean, she's been really good to my, my, my dad and Will and I. I mean, I may actually just cut her some slack, you know? What was that? Daniel! You and Mom are so sad and hurt about what happened to Bryant. You're totally blind to reality. And what don't we see? You taught Brian and me everything you know. You're the... the all-time Wheeler dealer, Ben. <laughs> you like that? It means what happened to Brian isn't your fault. Well, I'm sure there's logic there. If Somebody... Brian had wanted to say no to you, he would have. You taught him how. He knew how to handle you and his money. Is Mom afraid you're going to come after my trust fund, too? Oh, I would say that's probably a safe assessment. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you how it is, Daddy. I have no doubt. If you come to me for a loan, I'll be asking major interest and a non-negotiable repayment schedule with substantial penalties attached. <laughs> that's my girl. You've just forgotten. <laughs> Mom, too. But I haven't. You never hurt me. Oh, never. Ever, 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 ever. But the truth is, I think I did hurt Brian. I didn't mean to, but I did, and... You shouldn't resent your mother for... being scared I might hurt you. That's so unfair. I've already lost my brother. Why don't I lose you, too? Oh, hey... Hey, hey... Oh, come on. Prepare yourselves. This might be an evening for three. No, no, it might just be shade for tonight's transports. Now think positively. It happens all the time. Right. Margo Hughes. Oh, hi, Adam. What's everything okay? Well, um, Daniel was a little upset when it first happened, but he's okay now, so. When what happened? Well, um, I'm not really sure, but the window in, in Daniel's room was broken, and Mom, somebody put up a ladder outside the window. A ladder? Did you call the police? Hey, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It looks like somebody tried to break in. Adam, you didn't touch anything, did you? No, 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 I, I know the drill. Well, why don't you and Billy take Daniel and get out of the house? Oh, the cops are here. All right, we're on our way. Come on, tell me about it in the car. Sorry, sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, about sorry, about sorry, about sorry, about sorry. No, take care of your family and call us later. Oh. oh. Look, I've got to cancel that reservation. I haven't even enough money to cover the bar tab. Don't worry about it. I know how to handle this. You just shoot. Hi. We're going to have to put up.
put our drinks on my brother's tab. That's Craig Montgomery, Penthouse 4. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. This is only my second night here. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We do it all the time. Craig doesn't mind. Well, still, I, I better check with the manager. Okay. I knew I recognized you, and then when I heard your voice, you were on TV, right? Oh, well, yes, I was the star anchor at WOAK, but that was over a year ago. That's right. And you were remarkable. I mean, I remember so clearly you were so cheerful, so upbeat. Well, that's me. <laughs> so uh, why aren't you behind the news desk any longer? You moved on to bigger and better things? Uh, in fact, I have. If you call falling in love bigger and better, I got married. <sighs> that's too bad. Why? Oh, no, uh, I just had a great idea. Why don't you come work for me? Where did you get this? Your ex-boyfriend's hotel room. You saw Vince? I didn't punch him if that's what you're worried about. Well, I'd like to see him. I'd like to get him alone for a few minutes. Him in a two-by-four. Vince gave this to you. He lied. No, he, he didn't this. give it to me. He was out, but I managed to get in his room anyway. Are you sure that it was his room? 221, right? That's what you told your bartender friend in the lounge. Oh, you got this gumshoe thing down, don't you? I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to be wrong, and when I forced myself in the room, that's when I saw the whole display. You're losing me. The champagne, lipstick on the glass, the slip. What? This isn't mine! It's yours, Rose. I mean, I've undressed you. Your perfume is all over it. I know it's yours. Just the thought, the thought of you with this... I mean, I mean is he the only one? Oh. You accuse me of something like that. You're wrong. Oh, You're just dead admit wrong. It. Just admit it, Rose. Admit, and there's nothing to admit. Oh, I was so afraid to tell you the truth about my arrest because I was so afraid, afraid you were going to use it against me. Because I trusted you, and now you're accusing me of sleeping around. I am no whore. I, I, know, I have done I... things, and I have done them been on the edge, but this is not me. I want to believe you. I want you to believe me too. But I need. I need better answers. No, you need to trust me. You need to believe in me. And you need to love me enough not to need proof. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rose, but I, I need it. I just do. You want proof? I need proof. Whoa, 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 whoa. where are you going? By my slip. To the top drawer. Wait, no, wait, no. I don't, I don't know if I want you to do this. We're still new. We're still figuring each other out. We're still thinking about the hurt we have from other people. We don't want to be hurt again. Rosa, I, when I come back, you better be ready. Ready for what? To get on your knees and apologize to me. And make me a promise. What kind of promise? To love me forever. up to 2,000 times? That's why you need these new Always Maxis for faster absorbency. These new Always Maxis absorb twice as fast for cleaner, drier protection. So when you stand up, there are no surprises. Always expect more protection. This scene was filmed using an extraordinary lipstick. Max Factor's Lipfinity. Infinity. A long-lasting system with Permatone. First paint, then polish. While most lipsticks melt away, Lipfinity is semi-permanent. It lasts and lasts, 
through almost anything. After eight hours of filming, I can vouch for that. Lipfinity from Max Factor, the makeup of makeup artists. And you thought all we put in there was titanium. Energizer E squared with titanium technology. Do you have the bunny inside? Why are people falling for new homestyle bakes? <gasps> because it's one heavy box packed with tender chicken, savory vegetables, and a golden biscuit topping that makes one complete real meal. New homestyle bakes from Banquet. It's all you need to pick up. Veronica. Gerald. Have I ever told you that I worship each and every one of you by cuspids? And you, Gerald. You have the gums of a god. Introducing Braun Oral V 3D XL. It's the only toothbrush with both pulsating and oscillating 3D movements for a deep cleaning unlike any other brush. You have a mouth so free of plaque, it makes me weak in the knees. New Braun Oral V. Nothing moves like it, nothing cleans like it. CBS tonight. One night, two cases, three bodies. How are you at solving puzzles? See why piecing together the evidence is murder. All new CSI. And is the head of the CIA giving away secrets? Now the truth comes out. The president has lost confidence in him. All new agency. CBS tonight. Join Destiny's Child and host Mariah Carey for an all-star tribute to some very special families. A home for the holidays. CBS Friday. Dahlia? That's right. And you're Katie Peretti. Katie Peretti Frazier, yeah. So, this is your business, huh? An exercise studio? That's right. You see, I'm, I'm looking for an aerobics instructor to lead a class a couple of days a week. I just thought since you're not working at the moment... Oh, I've never taught aerobics before. Oh, that doesn't matter. Listen, you look like you would be fine in a leotard. Um, I'll make up a class for you, give you some moves. It's your notoriety that I'm interested in. Really? Sure. I mean, I'm always hearing people say, where is that cute little anchor girl from W-O-A-K? We'll make them pay to get the answer. Hmm. Well, I have been thinking about starting a new career. Then it's perfect. Of course, you know that it, obviously, it doesn't pay like television. Oh, that's okay. The money's not important to me. I don't really need a job. You see, my husband does very well for himself. Oh, I'm sure. I don't want to be one of those um, old-fashioned kitchen wives, you know. So, well, I'll take your card and think about it and give you a call. Great. Um, one more little thing. Sure, what's that? Could I have your autograph? Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh, gosh, to think that I used to do this dozens of times a day. Thank you so much. Katie, you have been more than kind. Thanks. Sure. Craig, just the man I was looking for. Oh, and Sierra. Hello, Good to see you. Didn't mean to be rude. Okay, here's the deal. Tom and Margo invited Simon and me out to dinner, and then they had to take off, and we didn't have enough money to pay the bill, so Simon's actually probably in the ATM right now. Low on funds again? Well, you haven't exactly paid Simon all the money that you owe him. And by the way, why does that bartender not know that I'm on your tab? I mean, all we had were a couple of drinks. Whoa, 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 whoa Kate. I'll take care of it. You're the best. When I'm paying, right? No. Gotta go find Simon. Bye. <sighs> what did you just do? I think I just bailed my sister out of an embarrassing situation. I imagine. Are you sure that's all? No. But with Katie, it's better to say yes, otherwise she just wears you down eventually. Uh, you know, just when I think that you are absolutely irredeemable, you do something so sweet that I actually think that there's hope for you. And then I show my true dastardly colors? <laughs> so what is your conclusion? There's always a chance you'll break my heart. And I can't take that chance with Lucy. Hey, where's Daniel? I put him up in your room. He went right to sleep even after all this excitement. You gotta check on him. All right, what? Pal! Everything okay here? Uh, I don't know any of the details yet. Tom and I just got here. What do you guys got? Yeah, somebody moved a ladder up against the house, broke the window in the kids' room. Yeah, Billy and I heard a big crash, so we tore right upstairs. Some forensics working on that ladder? Your team. Hey, Pal? What do you
are you doing here? Shanks called. He said Adam called in to 911. I just wanted to stop by and make sure everything was okay. I was worried about Emily. About Emily? She was supposed to stop by here. She did stop by here, right? Uh, yeah. What? What did I specifically tell you? No, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's my fault. I talked Adam into it. She wanted to see her kid, but she left before any of this happened. Uh-huh. How long before? Oh, come on, Margo. Don't even go down that road. Any good cop would You help. think Emily would try to steal Daniel? She wouldn't do something like that. You come on. Who else would have done it but Emily? exercise fail, adding Lipitor can help lower your total cholesterol 29 to 45 percent. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver disease or possible liver problems, and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor about other medications you are taking, or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of serious side effects. One in five people has high cholesterol. Millions need treatment. For less cholesterol, ask your doctor if Lipitor is right for you. Celebrate the holidays. Get the best gifts at super low prices at Burlington Coat Factory. Save on sweaters, sleepwear, slippers, scarves and gloves, shirts and blouses, jewelry and watches, leathers and downs, beautiful gifts for the home, and so much more at prices lower than department store sale prices. Burlington Coat Factory, we're more. some of my Campbell Select ready-to-serve chicken with egg noodles. Does it have oven-roasted white meat like mine? Yep, and there's 50% more than before. Mmm, that's good. What are you gonna eat? Campbell Select ready-to-serve. Mm-mm, good. Now, replenish your skin's precious vitamin E every time you shower with new Soft Soap Vitamins Body Wash. Vitamin E in an easy-to-use form. For the start of healthier-looking skin, shower yourself with Soft Soap Vitamins. There are some doctors who stay on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and even make house calls. They're the doctor moms who trust Robitussin to quickly soothe away a hacking cough. Anytime, day or night, Robitussin, recommended by doctors, pharmacists, and doctor mom. And now, to relieve all your flu symptoms, try new Robitussin Flu. This week. I'm divorcing you. What you gonna do with it? What you gonna say? You have no idea who you're dealing with. Yeah, I do. Is Hedman's scheme about to backfire? The gloves are off, and you're going down for the count. Did you understand that? This week on Guiding Light. Hey there, do you have the huge tent? It's been handled. Uh, who handled it? Well, the gentleman over there. Oh. Do you know where my wife disappeared to? Uh, pushy little blonde? No. no. She's not really blonde, is she? Oh, natural. Oh, hello, right, honey? baby. <laughs> What's got you looking so happy? Oh, just things are just looking up, that's all. Things? Things? What are things? What things? Um, you, me, our future. I just have a feeling everything's gonna work out. You are the eternal optimist, aren't you? Mm. No doubt, one of the reasons why I love you so much. What chance would you be taking with Lucy? I'm her father. She needs discipline, Craig. I cannot give in to her every demand. And what if the demands are reasonable? Moving in with you is not reasonable. And besides, she's already enrolled in school. A lot of things aren't reasonable. Sierra, Ryan's death wasn't reasonable. And maybe this is just her way of trying to come to terms with that. You know, she realizes life is short and that she needs to keep her connections up. She misses her father. No one has been here since we've had more than a couple of days together. Well, I don't mean to be harsh, but you had plenty of opportunity to bond with Brian, and you 
didn't make it happen. That's not fair. That's... And whatever mistakes I made with Brian, I learned from. Besides, Lucy and I, we have a special bond. Little girls have weaknesses for their fathers. And I have a weakness for her. Especially now. Sarah, you have a long line of admirers. I don't. And Lucy... Lucy loves me unconditionally. I've never had a love like that. I don't remember it that way. It's been a lot of years. I never had to put on a show for Lucy. Anyway, she reminds me of the few decent trades I have left. I've had school. Hey, you can't find a finer school than Oakdale Latin. You know, I know that that school has a great reputation, but she is 16 years old. She needs to be well within my radar right now. I... And besides, she's already registered for the next semester. I'll repay school. the deposit? No. No, she cannot live with you. Not now. She is going on to the next semester at school, and that's final. So that's Mrs. Martinez? No, no, let me get this straight. Mrs. Martinez, that's the headmistress, right? Right. She nearly fainted. Ah. She still made my English teacher give me an A. Of course she did. An A? Of course you get an A. It's your mother tongue. You get an A in everything as you forge forward in life, darling. Oh. Oh, I wish that I could spend more time with you. You could talk to Mom about that. No. No way. She's giving me my orders. Hands off. Okay. All right. I have an idea, Grandmother. Why don't we look at those old photo albums? Oh, do you remember that? We can make up stories to go along with the pictures, like when I was little. <laughs> I love your stories. Oh, I remember, and I love the way you would humor me, because, darling, few people do. <laughs> well, let's take a look at them right now. Come on, they're upstairs. Can let's we go. look at them down here? Sure, why not? I'll be right back. Um, um, Martinette's here, is Martinez? Yes, this is Sierra Esteban. I'm afraid we've had a family emergency and Lucy won't be able to attend school next semester. Thank you for your concern. Yes, Lucy is a lovely girl. She'll miss you all terribly. Uh, but we need to make other arrangements for her right now. I'll send you a letter very soon with all the details. Yes, she was heartbroken to find out she wouldn't be returning in the spring. But as I said, this can't be helped. The tuition deposit? Um, tell you what, why don't you apply it to the scholarship fund? You're very welcome. Yes, goodbye. Hey, honey, you don't have to hang up the phone just because I'm coming in. You were talking on the phone, right? Yes, I was saying goodbye to an old friend. You were gone a long time? I looked everywhere. I turned drawers upside down and <clears throat> can't find it. Uh, maybe Vince broke in here and, and, and he stole it? <laughs> yeah. I don't... yeah. Maybe. Maybe he did. Was that before or after he left a message on your answer machine? Um, you listen to my messages? And when I, uh, came over here like an idiot to apologize to you, I, I'm, I'm not proud of it, but yeah, I pushed the play button and I listened to your messages. And under the circumstances, I'm glad I did I don't did know it. what you're talking about. I do not have a message from Vince. Why? Did you erase it? Oh. Hey, Rosie, it's Vince the Invincible. I got your message, baby. Congratulations on dumping fashion boy and heading my way. Hey, this Lakeview Towers is pretty cool. You were right. So get over here. You know the room number. Don't keep me waiting, sexy.
sexy. It's been too long. That's not Vince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, this isn't your slip, and now that's not your boyfriend on the phone. Ex-boyfriend, no, 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 just stop. Just stop it. Stop lying to me. Vince isn't your ex-anything. The title belongs to me now. It doesn't prove a thing. I'm the one who pushed her into coming over here. She came here to kidnap my son, but it didn't work. Thank God she's as bad at that as everything else. Isn't that a little bit hysterical, even for you, Tom? Now, just go up and wait beneath the ladder. You recognize it? No, I don't. Do you, Tom? Nah, but... I think Hal does, don't you? <laughs> 